I think building a support system is the most important. If you know your baby before they're born, if you know that they're going to be spending time in the NICU, start building that support system now. Um, we didn't know that my daughter was going to be in the NICU. We didn't know that she was going to be so fragile. So we did not have time to build up a super strong support system. So that came after, but it can be done. Um, I think having families who have been in that situation is probably the best because they, they truly get it. They truly understand. Um, and they can talk the medical talk. They can talk about all of the things you're seeing without you feeling bad or guilty. Um, whereas I, I think a lot of times friends or family that haven't been in these situations don't know what to say. And so you can feel like you can't talk about it or you can feel a little bit guilty. Like you don't want to be making them sad. So you kind of clam up, but other families who've been through it can help you process all of that um, and talk through it. So I think that's important. Talking with the staff, I've, I've been friends with some of my daughter's nurses since she was born. Um, I'm still friends with them because they've seen all of this before, you know, and so talk to them, ask them questions, get to know them. They're taking care of your baby. Might as well. They're going to be there for their whole shift. Um, might as well get to know them. Uh, so I, I, I've built my support system with other families, with my current family and friends that I had before new family and friends, medical professionals, therapists. I mean, everybody, ev anyone can be part of your support system. It doesn't have to be a certain way. It doesn't, there's no cookie cutter for building a support system. You just need people in your life that will be supportive, that will let you talk, that will be there for you. That's what's important. And that that's huge for your mental health. Therapy is also huge, but a lot of times when your baby's in the NICU, you don't have the time and you will put it off. So it's important. And if you can do it, I suggest you do do it at some point, whether it's right now while your baby's in the NICU or if it's later when they get home, but make it a priority and process all of that trauma. Leaving the room, you know, because it really does feel like like a jail cell sometimes. You're just in this small room. You may not even have a window. Um, you have a very uncomfortable bed. You're not sleeping regularly. You're not seeing the people that you normally see. You're not able to just go do what you want to do all the time. Um, so it can feel extremely isolating. So even just getting out of the room, I would just walk around the unit sometimes. Just walk around the unit. You don't even have to leave the unit. Just walk around, get moving, say hi to people, see some other human beings smiling. Um, that that can be huge for your mental health. Just walk outside, get some fresh air, and then come back in. Anything, five minutes, and it'll help. 